Hello, thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Jay Holloway. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being back. Guess what? Today, we have a luxury haul, yay! So if you want to see what I got, stay tuned. Thank you so much for staying tuned. I greatly appreciate it. Again, I am Jay Holloway. Today, I have a luxury haul. It's kind of a mini haul. Nothing too extravagant or big. Just some things that I purchased during my vlog in Atlanta. If you watched it, you know I went shopping and sniffing. And I just want to show you what I ended up getting. Also, can we do... A little shout out to this little silk shirt I decided to do something different because this is a mini luxury haul let me dress up you know how they say business up top party at the bottom that situation anywho enough of that let's get into these goodies so the first thing that I picked up was a none other than a body wash Ooh, if you know me, you know that I have this ridiculously illogical, unexplainable, ridiculous obsession with shower gels. We're not going to disclose the amount that I currently have. That's not your business. But I did decide to add another one after explicitly telling myself, Jay, we're going in here. Do not get a shower gel. I ended up with a shower gel. And this one is Joe Malone's Red Roses. And the light is a little bright. But that is what it looks like. Now, I know that Joe Malone had a little bit of controversy. And it was upsetting, but... After watching AI the Great talk about how great their body products are, I figured, you know what, let me give this a shot. If I don't like it, I'll never buy another body product from them again. But it's a shower gel, and you know, you kind of need soap to wash your body. Granted, I don't need this expensive soap, but we're going to try it. So hopefully it has a good lather. It smells good. I do love florals. I like roses. So hopefully this is going to be a great addition to my bath ritual. And I hope that I really, really love it. So first purchase is Red Roses. The Bath Gel by Jo Malone. Now let's move on to the next item. All right. So if you know me, you know what my favorite, well, one of my favorite scents is. I'll wait for you to guess. You're right, Chanel number five. So, I already have the EDP. I have the shower gel in that too, which, by the way, is amazing. I need to complete the whole ritual. <sighs> This is the Chanel number no. five body cream or la creme court. This is redesigned and repackaged. Let's do a mini unboxing. So when you open it, it's like this. And this is ooh, the actual body cream itself. I haven't used it yet, but it is so nice and luxurious. The bottom part is gla frosted glass. It smells amazing. I cannot wait to use this. When I have a whole routine, I'm just gonna ugh, go in. So one, during the vlog, you would know that I went to Zara and was sadly disappointed. I returned that crap. And then I went down to get this. I'm happy I did that. I probably should have got this from Jump. But anywho, we're not going to focus on the past. We're just going to keep it moving. So, the Chanel Number no. 5 Body Cream. 
this haul would not be complete without a fragrance. And which one did I get? Stay tuned. You're still here. Thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share. So, in true Jay Holloway fashion, this would not be a mini shopping haul video if it didn't include a fragrance. So, again, this is all from the vlog. I went to Phipps and I went to the Dior counter. I just wanted to sniff and see, you know, what I liked and what was on the radar. I technically really didn't have any intentions on buying anything, but it just so happens that I smelled something that I liked. And shout out to Alana, she was an amazing essay. One of the people that I like to watch on YouTube, Keiko Beauty, mentioned that she purchased this fragrance and it piqued my interest because as many times as I have walked to Dior and sniffed, I never recall seeing this one. But I went, I saw it, I sniffed it, I liked it. What is it? Oh, Jasmine Desange. Y'all know this is French. I can't speak French. But in a nutshell, it is a beautiful jasmine fragrance. Bloop. And this just smells like a beautiful, fresh, candied bouquet of jasmine. I love this. I haven't worn it yet, but it is amazing. And you know I like florals. So there, there's that. I cannot wait to use this though. I want to expand my Maison Christian Dior fragrances. And I think in this upcoming year, I'm going to do that. Because I'm almost finished with my Les Exclusives de Chanel collection. So I think I have about four more that I want to get of these. But yeah, this was an amazing purchase. I'm so happy Keiko mentioned this because this was literally in my face the whole time and I never knew. Weird. But I have one more thing that I want to show you from this haul. Stay tuned. All right. We are here. The grand finale, if you will. One day, while I was at work, I was watching... Amaya Lynx, she is a YouTuber in the UK and she focuses on Hermes, all luxury, body and candle care. She loves luxury candles. I love candles too. And she mentioned the Diptyque candle. And you know, I've been curious about Diptyque's candles. There is a Diptyque boutique in Buckhead. I went sniffing one day and I wanted to really focus on their fragrances, not necessarily their candles. I wasn't ready for that jump just yet. But the guy told me what the popular candle was. I smelled it. I liked it. Didn't think any more about it. It was on my radar, but in the back. Fast forward to when I watched Amaya's video, she mentioned a diptyque candle. And it goes by the name of Bays, And she was talking about the black one, which is their limited edition candle that I think comes out around the holidays. And she showed how when you light, you could see the flame in the black glass. And it looked so amazing. Right there, I'm like, okay, I have to have this candle. Like, I need it. I know what it smells like, but I want that candle. Well, guess what I did? Yeah, I decided to go ahead and treat myself to a luxury candle. And this technically is like my first, well no, the Jackie Islands will kind of be my first luxury candles. But this was like my Neiman Marcus Lux candle. I had a gift card that I won. Shout out to Winter Michelle's. 
And I decided to go ahead and use that. And I got this beauty right here. This is what it looks like. Sorry about the ring light. But this candle smells divine. If you've never smelled bays, it's almost like this green, woody, black currant berry smell that is highly intoxicating. They say that there is a fragrant counterpart, L'Ombre de Sons. It has some elements of it, but it's not quite the same thing. But it is nice. So this is berries, essentially. That's what bays means, berries. And I cannot wait to light this candle. It is going to be everything. It was my mini luxury haul from that previous vlog that I did. I might upload another one that might be out of sequence, but I will try to link it if I don't forget during editing. But if you watch me, you know which one. Anyway, again, I want to thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on IG. Tell your friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And just come on and join. It is my hope that you enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to show you more content like this. Until next time, friends, be blessed.